Most of the signals you might want to record, such as vocals, guitars, synthesizers, and so on, are analog signals. In other words, they're continuous electrical signals traveling through your audio cables. Computers can only deal with digital data, which is a series of binary ones and zeros that represent discrete integer numbers. So the analog signals need to be converted into digital somehow. And that's where the A to D or analog to digital conversion comes in. The A to D takes a continuous analog electrical signal and converts it into a discrete digital signal. Discrete meaning that it is made up of a finite number of values. This is achieved by measuring the amplitude of the analog signal at fixed time intervals, a process known as sampling, and then mapping those amplitude values to a predetermined range of discrete integer values that the computer can understand. And this is called quantization. The D to A does exactly the opposite, and thus translates the computer's discrete digital output signals into continuous analog signals that you can feed to your speakers, headphones, and so on. The accuracy of this conversion depends on how often it's performed, which is called the sampling rate, and how many values are used to represent the amplitude of the analog signal in the digital domain, which is called the bit depth. 44.1 kHz is the standard sample rate for digital audio such as CDs, MP3s, and so on. That means that the A to D samples the analog signal at least 44,000 times a second. Higher values will provide even more accuracy and allow for better results when applying effects such as pitch shifting and time warping later on in your DAW, but will also create much larger audio files and use much more CPU power. Lower values can't accurately represent an audio signal in the range of human hearing and will decrease the fidelity of the digital audio. In terms of bit depth or resolution, 16 bits is standard for most digital audio. That means that the A to D will map the amplitude level of the analog signal to one of 2 to the 16 or 65,536 discrete digital values. If fewer values are used, the subtle changes in amplitude of the original signal, what is known in music as dynamics, will be lost in this digital representation and it will start sounding like this. More resolution, such as 24 bits, is also quite standard for recording because it allows for better results when manipulating the dynamics of the signal in your DAW after recording, but it obviously comes with increased file size and CPU and memory usage. So to sum things up, converters sample the incoming analog signals and convert them to digital ones. Their speed and their resolution are the important things to note, and your absolute minimum when dealing with digital audio should be 44.1 kHz at 16 bits.